as you've heard, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today, we are moving on to what might be the finale of the game of the series, as we have over this way, the way home. Zero Gate to the Zero Gate. Go meet Arvin at the Zero Gate so you can travel into the great crater of Paldea together. Now we've done everything else we need to do up until this point. We've um, completed all the other main quests and things, so I think we're good just to climb this mountain, West Province and get into the Great Crater. Should be a lot of fun. Now, I guess this is sort of the easiest way to do it. I don't know if there's like a cave entrance over here. Oh, it looks like there is. So maybe I should be going for that. Oh no, I did not mean to fight you. Now is not the time. I'm sorry, but I got other things going on. See, this will be so exciting. Just cause you know, we've been waiting to get to this point for so long, completing all the quests, becoming the Pokemon League champion, all that kind of stuff. It's been a long time coming. Let me grab that Gimme Ghoul coin and we'll head through this cave I think that normally this is closed off, but not this time. Whoa. Hey, over here. Hi, Arvin. So bright. Whoa. This is the zero gain. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea, which what folks call area zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Maridon was born, or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that I can finally come back home? Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be wait waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. I guess so. The way home. So I, I'm figuring this is gonna be pretty intense. Students aren't typically allowed into the crater. It's off limits, it's very dangerous in there. So might be quite the exciting episode. Ooh. It's very technological in here. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Oh, it's Nimona. Hola, Zebra. Arvin said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon. So here I am. Once she's, she heard she'd get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. Oh no. But more importantly, why is it so dark and where's the awesome Pokemon? I guess we have to go into the crater first. Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now, oh, there we go. Well, now the lights are on, but why? I, I turned them on. It's Penny. So we got the whole squad here now. Seems like they were on power saving mode. Which must mean people haven't been here for a while. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Um, I guess my name's Penny. Well, hey, we never got to actually talk. I'm the Mona, I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech quiz. You like Pokemon battling too? Penny is quite the battler. Uh, you talk like way too much. The director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no brainer. Anyway, Penny here also agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Zebra. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you Zebra, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. My love includes my, my Mombasif and cooking and biometric identification in progress. Hello Zebra, I've been expecting you. Whoa. And it seems you've gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my dad, probably. What, that's Professor Turo? Namona, student ID number 805C001, and Penny, student ID number 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person exactly. Arvin, did you, uh, 
tell your dad about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the Great Crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber by using the elevator you can see to your right. Um, Dad? Please proceed below. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Yeah, from what I've heard, not so much, but I guess we could talk to everybody. I wonder if the professor's any good at Pokemon battling. <laughs> That's all you ever wonder about. Whoa, how'd I get over here? <laughs> guess we'd better proceed below, as requested. Whoa, that's so weird. <laughs> Turo used to be really famous. Everyone knew who he was, but he hasn't been in the media in like, ages. That's very odd, but I guess we can learn more about it through this way. Maybe, I guess. I mean, if we can find Professor Turo, if they're trapped down here or something. Okay, here we are. Whoa, it's a high-tech gate. Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted the lower level. Ooh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be allowed or above area zero. Zebra, you have brought Raiden with you? Yep. I think I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Maraiden's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach area zero. What about the rest of them? What, isn't there like an elevator or something? Wait, did you say Maraiden can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Railroading people into stuff, just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in area zero. Let's go. All right, that girl, is she like incapable of fear or what? I guess we better go too. I guess so. So, do we just hop off? I don't really know how this works. I can talk to them, right? Here you go. Whoa, look Zebra, this is even higher up than looking down from the top of a lighthouse. Zebra, ready for the worst? Not yet, I wanna, re I wanna talk to Penny. Well, we're all waiting on you, just say the word as soon as you're ready. I can't see anything but clouds. How far down do you think it goes? Probably pretty far, see ya, now I'm ready. All right, I'm ready for the worst. Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. Whoa, so we all get the ride together, that's cool. Quite the view. Here's Maraiden. What's the matter with it? Hmm. Scared of heights. That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. Everybody's hopping on. But no need to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? Wait, where? I want to go on too. Get on! Why are you guys going without me? It's my Pokemon! Ah! Hold on tight, don't let me go! <laughs> oh my goodness! There we go, much better. This is so cool. Whoa. It's like a whole different world down here. Oh, that's where we jumped off from, I think. Oh, and there's buildings down here too, whoa. And now I'm back here again. Huh, huh. I think I might have died once or twice there. Are you okay, Maraiden? What's wrong? Guess it doesn't feel so good to be home. Did it just hop back into our Pokeball? Chose go, to go back into its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. Wait a second. 
Where's the student council girl? Good question. Where's Nimona? What? She's gone. You don't think she... Uh, everyone, you have to see this. Area Zero is amazing. Come on already. I guess your ability would be to own Tempo, would be own Tempo, huh? Biometric identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. <laughs> yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? That is good. I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm? I think your dad's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Aw, you were worried about us? That's so sweet. You should now make your way to me at the Zero Lab, in the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks, installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Whoa. At each station, you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Sounds complicated. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? I guess so. Come on, time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. So this will be a ton of fun to explore, I'm sure of it. So we've made it here on Area Zero. Hopefully there's new Pokemon too. I'm just so excited. And they're all just running around with me. That's so neat. Can I talk to them? They sort of just follow me around, huh? That is so cool though. You can't run Marauder in here. So looks like we're on foot for most things. I was curious about these buildings. Is there any way inside of them? Or maybe just to check behind them for free stuff, like a max potion? Yeah, I'm sure we'll find some pretty high tier gear here, but the music is very suddenly epic. Whoa, okay. Let's go over this way too. Is there anything back this way? I'm not seeing too much. But you know what, I checked what I could check. Let's just keep going forward then. I like this so far. The atmosphere is just so different. There's a Corviknight, which, uh, can I catch this or what? We don't have a Venomoth, let's go for that one. So we might find some really cool rare Pokemon around here, starting with Venomoth. And if I have Quick Balls, I definitely wanna throw those. I actually don't have too many, so let's make the most of the ones I have. These are level 56 Pokemon. Come on, can we get an easy catch? Yes, we can. There's even a different battle song in here. So there we go, our first Pokemon of today, Venomoth. And that is number 257 Venomoth, the Poison Moth Pokemon is a bug poison type. When it attacks, it flaps its large wings violently to scatter its poisonous powder all around. That's so cool. So definitely gonna send that to a box. And that goes right there. So hopefully we'll find some new Pokemon all over the place. Like there's Giraffe Rig, but we already have Giraffe Rig caught. But whoa, there's a Raichu too. These are Pokemon, while we have caught in the past, aren't easy to find in my experience. Careful near the edge. Look at how deep it goes now. And there's some Palmy and Palmot. That's cool. Or I think Palmy and Palmo. What is with the base of this tree? The trunk of it's like covered in like a, a shard crystal kind of deal. It's the Terrasoli stuff. So this is the inside of the great crater of Paldea, Area Zero. Feels different from just seeing it in our textbook. So intense. Tell me about it. What is that over there? Whoa, hold on. Can I reach that from here? It seems like it got spooked by something. Something did. In Syria, that's not good. Are we talking about something? Can we even get back up to the surface? I should be all right. The last time I was here, I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come by. Okay, why didn't you just call the professor if he's down here? Oh no, I'm getting attacked. I'm trying to read the text. All right, this draft wants to fight, but I think I'm gonna leave it. Cause we, it's it's not something we need to fight. Yeah, I was just trying to read that text. None of your business, Pip Squeak. Oh my gosh. Jeez, don't need to bite my head off. What are you getting all huffy for anyway? Okay, come on, you two. This is an adventure. Let's have a good time. I agree. So, what's going on down this way? I saw that one Pokemon. I want to try to catch it, but it might be gone now. Darn. It was definitely a new one. All right. Well, hopefully we'll get the chance later on. But for now, I get Leaf Storm. Seems like a cool one. 
There's another Corviknight. I don't know if I have Corviknight Cough, but it's just showing out way up there. Can I get a little bit closer? I don't think I can actually throw it up like that. Corviknight, here we go. Boom, gotcha. This will be a big one to catch too. So let's go for it. This should be a seal flying and has unnerve. I wasn't planning on eating berries anyway, so we should be fine. I'll just throw a quick ball. I think there's some new Pokemon behind us. Oh, it jumped out right away. I could try throwing another one real fast. Sometimes a second throw is okay. And that Pokemon behind us is one we've already caught, so. And this isn't the only Corviknight around here from what I've seen, so if we do miss out on this one, it's not a big deal. Come on, come on. Let's get a catch this time. Now nah, it's just gonna jump out right away. So I think our best bet then with it being level 55, we might be able to hit it with some kind of fire type move and do some good damage to it. Okay. Let's just try Heat Wave. It might be too much of a damage difference, so I'm from just confused, but still use Heat Wave. Ah, yeah, it's a one-hit takedown. That's fine. We'll get more chances later on, but still some good experience now. See, I already have you caught, Floet, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much, but... It's sort of a shame I can't use a ride on around here. Also, there's not really a map on the bottom right. Nothing is really moving. Not even like the like the directions when I change the camera at all. So are we even going the right way? I have no clue. I'm just sort of running off in this direction. We get the Naughty Mint. Whoa, there's a Golduck. Huh. Maybe there was a better way down? I mean, that's where I was sort of at before. Dang, you just scaring me. It just turned around, he's attacking me. I don't wanna deal with this. It's a Pokemon I already have. And I, I just don't even want to fight it. Okay, we'll get away safely from this fight, though. I might just, oh no, I'm falling, I'm falling, no! <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Oh my goodness, I just wanted to enjoy the view. Okay, I could go back up. Actually, I don't know, maybe I'll just stay down here, though. It seems like there's a lot of places we can explore around here. I'm just trying to trudge through the water a little bit. Why can they move, oh, there you go. Because why can they move so much faster than me? See, that's where we were looking at before. So maybe we'll just stick to this main path and we'll explore more of Area Zero later on. But you know what? If I have Pokemon strong enough to fight, I should probably take that opportunity. Because, yeah, they should be able to get rid of that pretty easily. And you can see it's an easy experience. Well, I didn't even see this full at. Okay, you know what? We'll just fight it down. We'll just destroy it with one attack, hopefully. Yep, this heat wave should be enough to get rid of it. Because it will be 54 Pokemon. It's not a one hit, unfortunately, but. You know, it should be a fair chunk of damage just with this. But um, level 54 is pretty high, but nothing compared to our like level 70 Pokemon. They're avoiding the attack, come on. What is this? Okay, maybe let's try. Oh, we have Sealing, which is apparently super effective. Okay, cool, there you go, Blood defeated. That's all we needed. There's a lot of tiny Pokemon around that are easy to run into. A lot of bigger ones as well. There's another Corviknight I wanted to try. But I think I'll save it. It's not the most uncommon Pokemon ever. And I would hope you'd be able to return to this area later on, but I guess I'll have to wait and see. Very cool area though. I'm really liking it. It's a lot of fun to get through. Maybe I'll try one more time here. We'll throw a quick ball at this Corviknight and see if we can't get an easy catch. It's using Unnerve again. It's still level 54, so it's not gonna be easy to catch these, but certainly possible. Come on. Ah, oh, that is just not fair. All right, we'll just damage this one down then. I don't wanna mess with it too much more than just throwing a quick ball and just trying it once. Guess we can get rid of you, no problem, just like that, super effective. And there we go. Even back of the full health too with the shell bell. It's looking good overall there, getting closer to some level ups with Pokemon too, so it was, it's definitely worth it to do that. I do see one of the doors way out there in the distance, you can sort of see it glowing. There's a couple of them actually. So are we headed the right way? Like this seems like a dead end, but no, okay, we, we can go this way. I see, it's like a corner. Whoa, look at all these, we got some jump plus. I don't really need to fight them too much, but. That Corviknight is huge. I didn't realize that Corviknight was that big. Really cool to see that. So Penny, how'd you end up friends with Zebra anyways, huh? Well, I guess I just really came through for me when I needed it. Everything was going off the rails. School was a mess, friendships, well, too. Zebra was a big help in getting that all sorted out. 
So he helped you out too with tackling other gyms. What about you, you Nimona? Steve and I were classmates, neighbors back home too. Plus, I said he should he should aim to be champion, and he did it. Yes, we did. Wait, what? That's wild. Hold it there, right there, you two. You think you've got cool friendship origin stories with Zebra? They're nothing compared to what me and him went through. Our friendship's on another level. Nobody asked you to try to flex on us. <laughs> oh my goodness. We can't even fight when they're talking. Interesting. But uh, this Venomoth, Fampy, we've caught the evolution of that, right? I'm pretty sure. Don Fam, yes we have. Okay, don't have to worry about it. I think we've caught Halucha. Yep. There's some stuff down that way, but we'll, we'll want to try to find like a productive way to walk down there. I see another TM waiting for us. Really wish we could get Maraidon out here, but I guess it'd make it too easy to travel across everything. What is in the wall there? There was a Pokemon. Oh, it was Gagode, which we have. So don't have to worry about the Pokemon stuck in the wall. Good luck with that, but more Corviknight too. So I, I really don't have to worry about catching it right now if it's being too stubborn. There's just so many of them to grab. But I did want to try to make my way down to that one building, because that could have one of the four keys we're looking for, right? Or are all four of them going to be up there? Hard to tell for now, but I'll send my Pokemon after you, because that should be an easy defeat if it attacked. I decided not to. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is again. What is this? This might be the evolution of Rufflet. Well, there we go. Not you! What? I was looking at the other one. I'm so silly. Which one did the feature really quickly though? There you go. Super effective. He's able to get you down. And we get level 73 for Doxman. Okay, now you, patiently waiting. I appreciate it. We're going against you. This is a uh, Braviary. So cool. We'll throw a quick ball to see if that does enough. It's a lot of big flying Pokemon. Oh my goodness. Yeah, quick balls aren't working so well so far. We had that one Venomoth catch, but besides that, not too much. Well, the flame body applies a burn to you. And let's see what's gonna be like the most beneficial thing to do here. I guess we could just try Heat Wave. I don't think it'll be a one hit takedown. It's not, perfect. That's actually just where we want them to be then, because this is a great spot to throw an Ultra Ball. Yeah, it's another super big bird. Okay, so we will throw out an Ultra Ball, just like this, we have a bunch of them, so this should be easier to work with. Come on. And we got you, so there is Braviary Con. I'm pretty sure that's the evolution of Rufflet. I guess we'll see in just a moment, but yeah, a bunch of experience rolling in from that one. Okay, number 366 Braviary, the Valiant Pokemon is a normal flying type. For the sake of the trends, this brave warrior of the sky will not stop battling, even if injured. Wow, cool. I like the colors on it a lot. But there we go. Braviary has been caught, and it's right next to Rufflet, so we were right about that one. Nice. A couple more Raichu waiting for us out this way. I think we're more interested in you know, running down this way. We got some Citrus Berry on the floor. Okay, I wanted to check out this building. It has me very curious. Another Corviknight hanging out. Oh, something's happening. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. I think so. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what were they called? Radish ra rations? Research stations. <laughs> well, I was close. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. What's great in my common sense compared to you lot, apparently? Uh oh, what was that? Whoa! What the heck is that? I don't know, but it looks cool. That's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Zebra, let's take it on together. Can I catch this? Because that'd be amazing. Yeah, I guess uh, the Pokemon League champion had this one, but now we're the champion. Okay, so we have Tail and Flame. Nimona has uh, Lick and Rock. I think we can handle it, but does it give us a chance to uh, throw out the Pokeball here? I don't think so, yeah, that's a little unfortunate. I do have Stealing, which should be super effective against it. 
go. Let's try to def defeat Glamora as fast as we can, but it is a tough Pokemon to take on. There goes the Toxic Debris. Get a little bit more healing. That's pretty nice. Drill run. Ooh, will this be enough to defeat it? It will be, so good teamwork there. Great job, Mamona. Unfortunately, I think that does poison, but the Glamora fainted, so we're fine. There we go, a bunch more experience for us. And maybe now we can head into the building? Are there gonna be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please. You've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside and re the research station. All right, well, I'll be right after you guys. Let's check out the research station. At least the first one of several. Okay, so we're here at the entrance. Is there anything else going on here I might wanna check out? I'm not seeing any new Pokemon that I need at the moment. I hope that maybe once we're done exploring here, we can go back through again, but with um, Mariah then to make it easier. Can I just go inside? I can, no problem. Whoa. Looks pretty abandoned in here. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you've reached my, your first station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Zebra, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. All right, let's go for it. So we just click this thing. You want to press the button to disable the, one of the locks on the zero lap. Sure. You heard the professor, better press it. Lock disabled, three of four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Okay, I'm on it. First off, we'll heal. We'll take a quick nap while everybody watches. And we should be just good to go, right? There you go. You, Town Flame, and the rest of your party feel full of energy again. See, is there anything to do around here? Looks like you could get a decent rest on the bed here if you and your team get tired. Although it looks kinda mildewy. I wanted to check out the other rooms, but the doors are busted, so yeah, this is going great. I wonder if my dad ever worked here. I'm sure he has. What is this? Where would you like to go? Oh wow, so we could teleport around with that. That could be really useful. I'll have to keep that in mind for sure, but in the meantime, we're just gonna go back outside. Okay, so we're back out this way. I don't know if there's gonna be too much to find. I can squeeze back here though. Whoa. But I feel like, you know, it'll be good to focus on just trying to get to our next objectives, if possible, which I think would be off this way, right? Like, I really don't know which way to go. There's seemingly so many places. I guess I could go that way, too. Um, I don't know which way the, ga the, the game's trying to lead me. It would obviously be faster, more convenient if Marauding could go out. I almost never saw my dad my whole life. Oh, is it time for the for the backstory reveal? Penny, shush. He always, he's always busy with work, hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself, and Vlasif was the only one I had w with me. So yeah, I don't really know him at all, even if he is my dad. I try not to think about it too much. I try just to be proud that, something. <laughs> but the truth is, I would rather just have had a dad who was there. I haven't seen him for ages now, unless you count seeing him in the news. Used to be the least, to at least get emails. And then there he appears, out of the blue, and tells me we've gotta reach area zero. Some family, right? Oh, uh, but we're not here to judge or anything. And I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. No, I was also giving you a hard time. Sorry, uh, Penny, my name's Penny. So they're all talking and getting to know each other. Actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. Don't call me pipsqueak, you big lunk. That's the spirit, you two. Last time I came to the great crater, I was trying to, to see my dad. I got about this far, then I got attacked by some creature I'd never seen before. Really? What kind of Pokemon was it? Maybe it was one of these? It wasn't even like a, a Pokemon, more like a crazy weird metallic machine thing. You sure it wasn't just a Pokemon? That's a little more, I don't know, robotic than average? Yeah, I'm sure. It was like a completely different creature altogether. Whoa. Okay. 
and I hurt my boss real bad. I don't ever want to run into that awful thing again. It was that strong, huh? Then I really hope I get to see it. That's what I figured you'd say. You're real tactless sometimes, Simona. You know that? Whoa, okay, we got some cool Pokemon out this way too. Have I caught a Copperaja? I haven't. Well, here's our chance. Oh man, very cool. So, yeah, some kind of metallic thing that wasn't a Pokemon is what damaged Mabossif so bad that we needed to get all those Urban Mystica? That sounds pretty scary. So we'll have to keep an eye out for Pokemon like that. But right now, Copperaja is not gonna go down easily. A little unfortunate. They're gonna use Strength here, which it does a little bit. We could try Aerial Ace. I'm a bit afraid of that. So let's see what my other options are. You know, we could just use Nuzzle. It's normally effective. It'll paralyze them. We can get their health lower and then just throw the Pokeball. That might be my best bet. So let's go for it. Oh, we got some, we got the knuckle stack in the background, or whatever that is. Okay, that hurts a lot. Um, I wanna get the nuzzle out here for sure. And that's gonna be a paralyzation, so now we need to hit you pretty hard with some other stuff, I think. Oh, and there you are again. So there's a couple of them. Copper is just gonna use strength. It doesn't do as much damage this time. Let's just use discharge. I think it'll lower you enough. Oh, that was almost too much. Got a little scared. The player up is gonna knock out Palmot. We'll go ahead and get them revived soon. But in the meantime, let's just get another Pokemon back out here. Sure, Town Flame works. Um, and this Catch Copperaja. It's at the best position for this, you know, to be a thing. What's going on with that bird down there? I'm not sure. But we will throw an Ultra Ball. And can we get that catch? Come on. Please don't jump out of this one. Got it. That is huge. Copper Raja was caught. Okay then, so a bunch of experience coming in here, but this is number 125 Copper Raja, the Copper Derm Pokemon, a steel type. Copper Raja are prideful, cantankerous Pokemon. Specimens with vibrant green skin command the respect of others of their kind. That is so cool. Very detailed and just interesting looking Pokemon for sure. And that goes in right there. So we've already caught Kufen, which is down that way, so I don't have to worry about grabbing that one. Um, but you down here, I, I wanna get you as soon as I can. First things first, so is that we need to revive. Just like that. I'm not recovered from fainting. And then just heal everybody up. And try for this thing right here, the, the Garganical, that's what it is. This is so cool. I'm gonna just try once again to catch us with the quick ball. Always take that opportunity, right? And this is a ground type, so paralyzing this one's not gonna work as easily. So here's really hoping that the quick ball works. It just won't work for Pokemon this high of a level, I suppose. Um, they tried to do something, but didn't affect us. So we'll just try Steel Wing. I'm a little bit worried that'll do too much damage, but I guess we'll see. There's another one behind us. This, okay, no, that's perfect, actually. If we could just hit that one more time like that. It's gonna use Stone Edge against us, and that's, okay, great. <laughs> that's super effective. Not really what I was looking for. So let's see what we have the options of choosing. Choose next Pokemon. Yeah, I just want something normally effective. If we could do Lick, that might paralyze them. I don't know if paralyzation works against ground types at all. Oh, well, we're just gonna try it and see. For right now though, let's just, yeah, use Lick. But I definitely wanna catch this Pokemon. It didn't do much damage whatsoever. Uh, so maybe we'll just do Player Up. Oh, okay, that's so close. Do not do any more damage, you guys to try Stone Edge. But Doc's one avoided it, great work. So get the Quick Ball back out here. And the Ultra Ball. And see what we can do. Hopefully a catch. There it is. So we have caught Garganical. Quite the catch there for sure. So now I have to revive uh, Talon Flame. But we got number 131, Garganical, the rock salt Pokemon. Many Pokemon gather around Garganical, hoping to lick at its mineral rich salt. <laughs> cool. So did we ever get, we got Knackly, not Garganical. Did we ever get Knackle Stack? We have. So we got that full evolutionary line now. Very, very nice to see that. But in the meantime, I want to, um, Revive you, so restore your health. Just use a revive, we got plenty of these. So I'm not too worried about it, but catch ya. All right, to heal you and heal you. But I'm glad we got another catch there. Am I just supposed to slide down this? Cause if not, I don't really know how I get over there, but whoa, here we go. Oh, this is cool actually. And I can press the button to go back up, but it looks like this is where I'm supposed to go to at least some degree. 
sort of hard to keep up with, you know? Especially with no map. Like I pulled the map, it just says that we're at the entrance of the Great Crater. So it's not the most helpful information when it comes to properly getting around. But maybe once we complete the area or something, we'll, we'll get a full map of it once we save the professor. By the way, that's my goal right now, is just saving the professor. Uh, oh, okay, something's happening with the second building. The second research station, about time too. So we definitely wanna go over to that one and open it up. Okay, we're all here. Whew. Let's let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. <laughs> Ooh, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Is everything okay? Whoa! Hey, look, a deli bird. It's good to see some nice, familiar Pokemon down here too. That's not a normal deli bird. It's like a robot deli bird. Is this what Arvin meant? It's cute, oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, be careful. I don't know if that thing's dangerous or not. Whoa, I don't think it is very nice. What the, whoa! Zebra, it's battle time. So what's with the robotic deli bird? Can we catch this one? Was the other Pokemon robotic? I don't think it was. I think it was just a normal Pokemon. I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out here, so. Yeah, it's called Iron Bundle. That is so weird. So I'm guessing it's a seal type. But I guess we'll try this and find out. It's super effective, maybe, maybe not. It's gonna use Freeze Dry against us. Ooh, that hurts a little bit, but we're okay. And then Umbreon uses Dark Pulse to finish it off. Interesting. What a weird Pokemon. Level 72 for uh, Masquerada. Seriously, what was that? Don't things scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a deli bird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. All right, here we are. But still, that was bizarre. I wonder if that has a Pokedex entry or something? The Iron Bundle. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research location. Seems like, it seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch a breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these? Huh? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into the Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow for such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Monsters of Area Zero, a member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as te its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate, to say nothing of its treads of iron. Isn't that one of the the Titan Pokemon we took on? Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Seabread? I don't think they are regular Pokemon, that's for sure. Hmm, maybe. They definitely look do look a bit different at the least, and I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Whoa. Professor, some of the life forms that you, you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that have lived in a distant day we have yet to see. Future Pokemon? What? That's awesome. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. 
The Zero Lab, where I'm located, contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. Why, though? So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here, he actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Dad, you... Why do you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Zebra, please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. So there's time travel going on. These are Pokemon from the future. You wanna press the button to disable one of the locks on the Zero Lab? Of course. So this will be two out of four. We should be halfway through. Lock disabled, two of the four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Zebra. You know that book you told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like, everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. You tamed the Violet Book. You put the Violet Book in your bag's key items pocket. A record of the expedition that the author, Heath, went on within the great crater of Paldea. The book has the name Turo written on it in clumsy writing, which is the professor's name. So did, did the professor write his name on it? Take care of it for me. Okay, Zebra? Okay, first thing we wanna do is probably heal up. Let's lie down for a rest. I think we're all basically fine, but I just wanted to make extra sure. But man, we are learning some major implications about the story now. Time travel, mysterious, you know, non-Pokemon Pokemon. It can't be, it just can't. But then who? Who what? Seriously, a time machine? It feels like we just stumbled into a sci-fi novel or something. I can't believe I got to battle Pokemon from a whole different era. This is incredible. I'm so glad I came here with you. <laughs> Three different takes on the whole situation, huh? Very interesting. So that's two buildings down. We have two more left to find. I figured we had to climb way up to those blue doors, but maybe not. So maybe we could just keep going. My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board with the, of the Rotom Phone Company. Wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that. He's famous, and I guess I looked into him for my own reasons, too. So Nimona's actually some pampered little princess from a rich family? <laughs> Ugh, no, no way, that's not my thing. Though, yeah. I guess you could say mother and father were like hands off, but in a good way. My big sister will probably take over the business, so they pretty much let me do what I wanted. Wait, you call them mother and father? That is some pamper little princess stuff right there. Oh no, I, I don't know what that says. What is your family super normal then? My, my family is unbelievably annoying. Like super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad, he's loud and cling clingy and makes up weird nicknames for me like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. Man, that's a real downer for your dad, having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his side. Uh, Zebra, I'm not reading! The Golduck interrupting the conversation I'm observing here. We're just going to um ignore this one so we can keep reading the story here. It's so silly how they do it this way. You met her? Who did I meet? Yep, got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made too. Oh yeah, the moment met our mother. Really? Wish I could have seen that. I bet it tastes great. All right, well their conversation is done. I'm gonna grab this and then I wanna see if I've caught this Pokemon. Um, Musquarian, we have not caught Musquarian. Is a, a Pokemon we've certainly battled before, but I guess no chance to catch it until now. So here's our chance. Let's throw a quick ball first things first. You would, you would think maybe we could get it, but who knows at this point, you know, with quick balls and Pokemon at this level. There it is, awesome. It seems to catch this bug type Pokemon so easily. All right then, so a bunch more experience and 
That is number 50 Musquarian, the eyeball Pokemon, a bug flying type. The antenna have distinctive patterns that look like eyes. When it rains, they grow heavy, making flight impossible. Oh no. Yeah, they have big eyes, or big things that look like eyes, antenna. Um, but very tiny little wings. Is there anything interesting down that way? I don't think so, so we're gonna keep going this way. I just don't know if we're going the correct direction. I can only hope, right? Feels like it's correct, but I don't know if I can entirely trust it. Like, what's down that way? Who knows? I guess it's just about adventuring around a bunch. We'll sort of assemble it as we go along. We get a mild mint. And then there's another uh, Arteria, which we've caught. But hey, that's more variety of Pokemon. I think there's a higher chance we might find a Pokemon we haven't caught. I know that there's a Corviknight flying around, but I don't know. I, I just, I'm not having much luck with it right now, so I don't want to bother too much. But there is another building off that way, so we are going the right direction. I think I saw one more thing to pick up over here. I did. Cool. So that's a heal ball. Three of them, actually. I don't see anything else that's new, though. Hmm. Everything's just sparkly around here. Whoa, it's the evolution of uh, Larvesta. This is so cool. It is Valcarona. So we'll just try for a quick ball and see if we get it. If not, we'll just try, you know, for some other stuff. But come on, give me an easy catch. You're kidding me. It appeared to be caught, but not really. It's level 59. Tried using Leaf Bleach. It doesn't do too much. So maybe I'll just use Aerial Ace. I hope that's not too much. Oh no, it's too much. Luckily, every Pokemon we've run into so far, we keep running into more of them, so I'm sure that won't be our last chance to catch Volcarona. Just a pain that it couldn't have worked out better. Anyways, it's a bunch of experience for us. I know I can't run more Iden in here. And I'm sure we'll run into another one soon. I mean, we have a Larvesta. We can evolve that later if we really can't find another one. This is not the biggest deal in the world. Seeing anything interesting over this? We just another little thing to pick up, but seems like we get good loot around here, so I definitely just want to grab whatever we can find. If that is just going to be this Pokeball where we get a careful mint. Hi! Uh, didn't want to battle you, but here we are. Just going to run. Just because we, we've got enough of that Pokemon, you know? Obviously, I should probably be throwing out like that so that can actually make some extra experience pretty easily, but what's going on now? All right, another research station. This is our third one, and will we battle another Pokemon? Nice, we got to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again, 100% guaranteed. Ha, <laughs> oh Penny, such a worry word. Huh? Oh no, it's you again! Is it the same type Pokemon or a different one? See? See? <laughs> the mode is so excited about it. Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was a future Pokemon all along? Whoa, you've battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Zebra and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. So I guess maybe one of these escaped the Great Crater. Interesting. All right then, so another one of these, and we have Tail and Flame, which should be, why are we way over here? Uh, could you come over a little bit closer? <laughs> I guess not. It's Iron Treads again. Okay, so we're just gonna battle this from, oh no, yeah, we're, we're closer now. We're at a comfortable distance this time. So it's just a one hit takedown on Iron Treads. No problem. That's great. So a bunch more experience for us, and we defeated another Pokemon, so we can head into this building. See that? Victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching for the Ur out the Yerba Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our great er, crater get together? Jealous. Uh, if we've got things from the literal future roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Truro doing anything to keep them under control? How could he let this happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like oh so brilliant Professor Truro ever messes up. Come on, Zebra, let's get into that research station. 
All right. So, we're good to go. This will be our third one now. So we're, we're sort of starting to get through them faster and faster, which is great. So probably more of the same situation here. But last time we learned about time travel and made it to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? Hmm? Oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. A Pokemon here in Era Zero came to our time from the future, right? So what about Mirai then? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those future Pokemon? You're right. And my battery's low. Maybe in the future it isn't low. Huh? I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving off future vibes. Even if its name, even its name sounds futury. Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey Arvin, you had Maradin's ball and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Ugh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice then, but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon, or Maraidon that is, it was found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor, Maraidon, which I entrusted the Zebra, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously? Through analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact a futuristic form of Cyclozar, the Pokemon commonly written in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two spe specimens of Maridon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? That the one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with our Maraidon. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed, Zebra, please disable the next lock using the central panel here. So last time we learned about time travel, this time we learned that, of course, our Maraidon is from the future. Pretty crazy. And that, of course, is another version of Maridon. That is probably, you know, the Pokemon Scarlet version. The three out of four, only one more re remaining. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue on to the final research station. Okay, so same thing as last time. We'll just heal up just to be sure. But so far, we're handling everything A-OK. -okay. okay, so yeah, with that in the clear, I guess we'll talk to some people. These plot twists really took it the heartstrings, don't they? Not that I'm complaining. It is pretty juicy. <laughs> you can leave any wild Pokemon up to me. I'll beat them in no time so we can march on. If that other Pokemon really is the only family it has left in the world, it must want to be together again, right? I would guess so. Unless they don't get along very well, but I don't think that'd be the case. I guess we'll see soon enough, right? We're back out into the world. So Maradon's future, a future Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it before. Zebra, you gotta let me battle Maradon right now. Um, it still won't come out of his Pokeball. Oh, right. That was the first I heard of it coming from the future myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my dad brought home all of a sudden one day. We all lived together at the Lighthouse Lab for a little while. My dad made me promise to keep it a secret. And I had to take care of it for him too. Which way do I go? So that's why you knew so much about it. Yeah, but then one day my uh, Maridon just went nuts against some odd Pokemon. A few folks living nearby ended up seeing it, so the secret was out. Once that happened, my dad took it. Yeah, if people found out, it'd be all over the news. I didn't see my dad or Maridon again after that for ages. Looking back on it now, it seems stupid, but I felt like I'd honestly lost my dad because of Maridon. It was the worst feeling ever. I just hated Murata and, and everything about it. Didn't even want to talk about it. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. You should you should be sorry. Shoot, that's like the coolest thing ever and you didn't tell us. <laughs> yep, sure, it would have been great to know all that relevant info. Dang, guys, harsh. 
<laughs> oh no, they're a little rough on him, but I forgive you. Look at this, is this an evolution of Noibad? No, 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 it's not. What is this thing? I thought it was a Noibad evolution from the corner of my eye, but this, oh, this is something I've never seen before. Lots of crazy colors, iron? Juglis? Okay, what is this thing? Let's throw out a quick ball. I guess this must be one of the future Pokemons. If it's iron, we saw that for the Deli Bird, it was the iron bundle. It's the iron Jugulus. Okay, so let's just try battling it maybe with like an Aerial Ace. It won't do too much damage, I don't think. Okay, that's perfect. We can do another one of those. That'd be amazing. Might even want to use a Steel type move against it. I'm not sure. Or maybe I could just throw the Ultra Ball from here. That might be enough. Come on, come on, can we catch the Iron Jugulus? This thing is so interesting. We got it! Awesome! So, Iron Jugulus has been caught. Is this really a Pokemon from the future? Oh man, I mean, it has to have a Pokedex entry then. Number 385, Iron Jugulus, the Paradox Pokemon is a dark flying type. It's possible that Iron Jugulus, an object described in an old book, may actually be this Pokemon. So yeah, with the old book, we have this Pokedex information. That's so cool. So we call it one. And that goes right there, 385. What about some of this other stuff? Gimme Ghoul. Sneasel, we have all that caught, so I don't have to worry about that too much, but man, that is awesome. So that's why we have to look all over Area Zero to try to find more things like it. But there's more of it riding around, so I guess we don't have to worry about it too much. It's making splash noise because different people are running through, but yeah, there's a couple of them flying around here, so maybe this is one of the easier ones to find, but Iron Jugulus. But this was more so a dead end, so we can head out, oh my gosh, it's so bright, and try going down some other direction. There was another big cave right over there that I sort of missed out on, I, I sort of skipped it. Maybe we'll just try now. Where was it? I think that was, it is right over here. Huge cave, all the characters were talking, so I didn't want to talk over them. Okay, so. Right now it's a lot of the same Pokemon. I should be throwing you out though, just you know, get some extra stuff done, right? There we go. Maybe I can also fight you that way. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, <laughs> we can fight you over here. Come on, come on. There it is. That's definitely some easy experience. And we're getting closer to level 75 with all of our Pokemon, but whoa, whoa, it's some of the Deli Birds. There's a Denun Sparse, but more than that, the Iron Bundles here. So let's definitely try to grab this one too. I don't think we'll get a quick ball catch, but I'm just gonna try either way. So, because we still have a couple left, I wanna make the most of them and just really try for it. Come on, can we catch an iron bundle? No, come on! It's gonna use freeze dry against this, which isn't so fun. Um, what can I maybe use here? All this stuff is normally effective, so I'll just use a heat wave. And there's a couple of them around too, so. Ooh, that's exactly what we needed. Oh, but it's burnt. Is that gonna finish off its health? I hope not. Please don't, please don't. We're gonna heal up a little bit. Please don't lose the remainder of your health. It's gonna use freeze dry. This is where we throw an ultra ball. Please, please, please. No! Okay, no! Come on! That was baloney. All right, we'll have to try again with another one right over here. Oh, but you! I need to catch you too. There's a bunch of Pokemon around here I need to work on. So first off, boom, throw this out. And then I'm going to switch actually just while I had the chance. So that hopefully we can get some more stuff done like this. This is of course the thing we just battled earlier, the Glamora. It's level 60. So once I get a quick ball happening or working here is low, the chances of it actually working out, but we'll try it. Yeah, it's just gonna jump out right away. Gonna use Rock Slide against us. It doesn't do very much. So this is where we just do um, Nuzzle. That's pretty nice. I might just wanna continually use Nuzzle, because it's just nice and safe to do that, using Toxic Debris. And it's still just gonna try hitting us with the same things over and over again. So we should be able to Nuzzle again. Maybe one more will do the trick. I, I sure hope so. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it was a critical hit too. That's not what we wanted to see. So we just want to throw up a Pokemon and then just try to catch it. That was rough. So yeah, choose our next Pokemon. It get Dock Spun or something out here. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy. 
and has half of its health left. I think it'd be fine if we did a leg. Poisoned. Let's try it. Please not, not be too much. Okay, that's a very tiny amount of damage. Maybe it's enough. Maybe it's, oh my goodness. Come on, we're losing two Pokemon to it. Let's try again. Come on, come on. Choose next Pokemon. Nyaskarada, sure, it doesn't really matter too much as long as I can just throw out an Ultra Ball. This is our chance. So. Yep, we're taking poison damage, I know, I know. We go for an Ultra Ball and we hope for the best. Ooh. No way, it's struggling, but it couldn't move because it was paralyzed, so here's our chance again. I'm just gonna keep trying to throw this until we eventually get it. Okay, I finally caught it. I had to lose more Pokemon for it. It was a little ridiculous, but we got through. So there we go. That is finally something. I'll have to go all the way back to the, the station and heal back up. We'll get number 309, Glamora. The ore Pokemon is a rock poison type. Glamora's petals are made of crystallized poison energy. It has recently become evident that these petals resemble Terra Jewels. Whoa, pretty intense one, but right now it just goes back to a box and boom, right there, Glamora. So we will have to do more about that later. I wanna try catching you. I'll throw a quick ball at you. If that doesn't work, then I think we're just gonna go try this again later because I need to go kill my Pokemon really badly. We'll see if it, you know, a quick ball gets the job done. Because we're poisoned right now with Oink alone. And I, I really don't want that. Ah, oh, man. Quick balls just don't work around here, do they? <laughs> Most of them do bug Pokemon for some reason. That works just fine. So I might just wanna try, I could try, you know, putting the sleeve and beating it up a little bit. But it might be to sit the punch here at this rate. So can you use Yawn for now? It's gonna grow drowsy. This would be a huge catch if, if we could get it. So I might just wanna try Headbutt. It's gonna use Flip Turn, so gonna attack first. We're still here, but with the poison, I don't know how much this is gonna work. That's not too much damage, but there goes Oink alone. So I think we're down to two Pokemon here. This is why I'm playing it risky. Got the, the Hypno Pokemon in the background. Sort of cheering us on. Iron Bundle fell asleep. We're gonna choose our next Pokemon now. I guess we could do um, Talonflame. And if I could just do Sealing because it's a normally effective move. How did they avoid it? They're asleep. <laughs> what? Uh, that was weird. I guess even in their sleep, they're just moving, they're dodging. There we go. That's a perfect amount right there. So if we could just throw an Ultra Ball from this, this should be a catch, right? If not, it's gonna be totally ridiculous. Uh, but I guess we'll see in just a moment. Throw this Ultra Ball. Can we get the catch? Ooh, it's gonna be a critical throw. Perfect. Iron Bundle was finally caught. And my battery. Okay, so we're gonna read this Pokedex entry, heal my Pokemon, plug in my controller, we should be good. Number 383, the Iron Bundle is a Paradox Pokemon as well, an ice water type. It resembles a mysterious object mentioned in an old book. There are only two reported sightings of this Pokemon. Pretty sure they're both us. <laughs> okay, very cool. That goes right there. So these are all at the tail end of the Pokedex, which is pretty cool. So I'll run all the way back over to the station so we can heal up and then we'll continue on our adventure. Okay, so we haven't caught the Dunsparce, but there we go, I was able to um, heal for Pokemon. We'll try to catch this to Dunsparce really quickly. Um, I know it's like a, um, what's it called, a normal type. So I should be able to do this without too much of an issue. There we go, if I were to do that maybe one or two more times, because that was a critical. So it's paralyzed, it may be able to move, may not, and there we go. That's really good, actually. So let's hit it with another nuzzle. Hopefully this is an easy catch, you know? I, I would hope so. There we go. So it's at a great spot. It's not moving much. We're gonna throw an Ultra Ball. We have over 30 of these remaining. So you would think it wouldn't be a problem, but here it is breaking free. It still can't move because it's paralyzation, though. So we throw another one. Still happy we're finding some, I guess, you know, harder to find Pokemon in today's episode. Like, Dedun Sparse. 
Because we've called Dunsparce, it's not the Dunsparce, which is the evolution of it. Number seven, or level 74 for Palmot, but we catch number 189 to Dunsparce, the Land Snake Pokemon is a normal type, the two segment form. It drives enemies out of its nest by sucking in enough air to fill its long, narrow lungs, then releasing the air in an intense blast. That is so cool, but also a very odd Pokemon. <laughs> but there we go, that goes right next to Dunsparce. Get another one completed, cool. So is that just Glamora there, or is that the thing that evolves into Glamora? I guess it's just Glamora, okay. So while there are new Pokemon around here, we've caught them now. And this looks intense, but I don't think we're supposed to be here yet, right? Maybe, maybe not? I don't know. Whoa, look at this place, it's so cool. Quite the view. So we head deeper into the cave. I don't think, I think they might, we have to find the fourth one first, right? I don't know, it's so easy to get turned around here with no map. And it's such a huge area with different ways to go. Quite the marble though. Ooh, I don't know though, there's one of the buildings right down there. Oh my gosh, look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. Are these Terra crystals? One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call, watch your step. So the professor's down there somewhere, waiting for us. And that's fine, totally fine. All right, team, watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. All right, sounds like a plan. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here, like the stories say. Yeah, this place is like something from a whole other world. Makes you feel like maybe you already died and, and, and went somewhere. Is it just me, or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody, let's keep moving. We've got to go all the way down. Sounds like a plan to me. So yeah, I see our fourth station down there, so I guess we just keep making progress in the meantime. These are all Pokemon I've caught before, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but I wanna check out this crystal. Can I interact with it at all? Not really. I can just feel its glow. There's a lot more down that way. I think if we had Maridon, it would be just such quick work. We just glide there, glide here, and we're done. Maybe we can find some cool stuff around here. Like, what, what's back this way, right? It's gotta be something. So I'm like, oh, that's Gamora, right? That is Gamora. And that's just like some crystals on the wall. Was this just another way around? There's gotta be something cool back here, I'd imagine. There's no way you have this like little pocket and not have at least yes, something we can grab. Some rare candy, that's always good. That's a free level up for one of our, our team Pokemon. What was that? Dunsparce, okay. Then here is the uh, Garganical that we caught earlier. Not the same one, but you know, same type. but I'm not seeing anything new that we need to grab, so we're just gonna keep running. I will take this right here, which is the Ice Terror Shard. So Maradon came to our age through the time travel, then it lived here with the professor along with one of its kind? That seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of, or to its second home at least. I guess this place should be familiar to it, sure. Ah, that's great. A chance to unwind and bask in the familiarity. That doesn't exactly jive with how it's been acting all spooked since we got here. It doesn't seem eager to come out of its ball anytime soon either. Really? I thought it was just scared because we were so high up. Huh? Who said it was scared of heights? No one, I guess. Given how Maridon was acting earlier, I think something bad happened to it here. Sometimes you get all shaky just seeing the place that you've got bad memories of. It was the same for me when I was being ignored by everyone in my class. Just thinking about school made me want to hide away somewhere. So I know how it feels. Aw, Penny. So maybe it got hurt down here in Area Zero. Just like Mabossif? We can't know for sure, but it doesn't change into its battle form anymore, right? So I think it's possible. But that's so sad. We gotta do something to make it feel better. Oh no, I'm not just saying that because I'm super badly want to battle Marauder myself. Seriously? Well, at least you said it and not one of us. 
Nimona, you're kind of unbelievable in a mostly good way. <laughs> All right, ooh, Gibbles. I need to catch one Gibble, please. If you don't mind, I, I just still have yet to do it, so here's my chance. I can hope that I can throw a quick ball, but at level 58, the chances are low. So I might just have to force one, this one down with Palmont. Ah, oh, come on. I would love it if it just worked once. But it's gonna use takedown again, so it doesn't do too much, luckily. Um, but it was damaged by the recoil. Now, this is where things can be a bit of a problem. We'll try close combat. It might be too much damage. It is. So I'm gonna have to switch Pokemon and just fiddle around until I find something that can catch a Gibble. Because I don't think it's gonna be Palmon. All right, let's see what else I got. We could try Oink alone for now. That might be a bad idea, I guess we'll see. But if I could just catch it so it's done and it's out of the way, that'd be fantastic. So, um, I think Yawn would work. I mean, I don't know if it's fighting ground. I think it's just ground, so I don't think it's gonna be super effective against normal, but it's growing drowsy now. We can use Sandstorm. We can handle that. Sandstorm kicked up. And I think we're just gonna use Headbutt here as soon as possible. No, not again, that's not what I meant to do. Well, that's a waste of a turn. It's gonna fail because it's already activated. So it's gonna use Sandstorm, but okay. Well, then I guess we both had to repeat it the first turn. We're gonna get buffeted by the Sandstorm again. It's really not too much, and now it's snoozing. So this is our chance to damage it down as much as possible. So battle, headbutt. Ooh, okay. That is exactly where we need it to be. It is asleep, it has super low health, if we could just catch it really fast, that would be fantastic. So here comes the Ultra Ball right over here. And that should be it. Got it. There we go, we have finally caught Gibble. Looking good. And that is right here, number 126 Gibble, the land shark Pokemon is a dragging ground type. It nests in horizontal holes warmed by geothermal heat. Foes who get too close can expect to be pounced on and bitten. Scary. All right then, so we don't wanna mess with this one too much. Just put it in our Pokedex for now. Now we got Gabite running around as well, but we haven't found Garchomp just yet. Yeah, there's Gabite. We've already caught Gabite, so I don't have to worry about it. But what else could be around here? So far, not too much that I'm spying. But here it is, the final station. As far as I can tell, we can finally get through to this and see what's next for us. All right, so lots of Pokemon around here, but none that I really need to worry about too much. Let's go inside, if it'll let me. You know, fancy cutscene for this one, or Pokemon battle. Is this the right place? Oh, this one's all beat up. Whoa. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Ah, Professor, you, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry, hello, children. Come again? I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. No, what's happening? Hello, children, hello, hello. I think the service isn't good down here. What the heck? Stop that, you're creeping us out. Hello, child, children, and chil chin, chil children. <laughs> Initiating restart. Is this actually Professor Turo, or is this like some fake? The professor must be having some, some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like, I don't know. If he meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. It definitely wasn't a joke, and this thing will shut down. Do you wanna press the button and disable the locks on the Zero Lab? Before we do, maybe we should heal up and talk to everybody first, because I have a bad feeling about what might come down here. I, I really don't know. That didn't sound like the professor to me. Maybe something's luring us down here. Looking at the damage, I have a feeling maybe some ferocious Pokemon battled here. Have you disabled the lock yet? I'm all for leaving this place as soon as we can. That, that was almost like, no, it can't be. Let's press the button and find out together. What could it really be? All locks disabled. 
Ah, ah, ah. Hello? Can you hear me now? Please forgive my precious tra previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of the of Area Zero. I don't know how to feel about this. Okay, so they're not gonna say anything new, right? Let's get out of here then. Whoa. So I guess we just keep going down this way. There was some, definitely something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it was just a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed for more adventuring. What, that got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even big time jazz. You need to go to a, see a doctor. That's just not right. Say, I'm pretty sure that was, call was really, uh, never mind, it's nothing. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kind of down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting to you to see this through, Zebra. I'll do my best, but what, what does any of that mean? You can't be so cryptic in a situation like this. I need clarity. Because what's going on here? There's like a big plaque or something. Let's try to read this in a moment. Let me grab this first. Um, Steel Terror Shard. What is this? I don't know what this says. It doesn't seem like I can quite read it. There's some sort of plate inscribed with a mysterious symbol. I don't know what that means. Whoa, but there's a huge building down that way, so I'm pretty sure that's where we're off to get to, right? Well, not from this way, this way's a dead end. So let me grab whatever free stuff I can get, a poison terror shard, and then back up this way. Seen a lot of familiar faces for the Pokemon at this point, but that's still a good bite. I mean, a, a, yeah, a good bite, not a uh, Garchomp just yet. So still looking for that somewhere, but we'll have to wait and see. Getting plenty of terror shards the deeper we go, though. Okay. Whoa, what are these? I don't even know what this is. Is this what evolves into the Glamora? I guess so. This is a Glimet. I have never seen this one. So I definitely wanna to try to give it a catch here. Come on, can we get a quick ball catch? There it is, finally. About time we get Glimet. So there we go, some easy experience, but more than that, a Pokedex entry for our Glamora pre-evolution number 308, Glamette. The ore Pokemon is a rock poison type. Glamette's toxic mineral crystals look just like flower petals. This Pokemon scatters poisonous powder like pollen to protect itself. It's cute, but so odd. So there we go, we're gonna send that to our boxes and add it to our Pokedex. In the meantime, is there anything else down this way that we might be able to grab? So far, the answer looks like no. I don't think I'm supposed to fall off the side here, so I'm trying to be careful. I don't think I would want to do that anyways. I want to experience as much as possible. Whoa, where are you going? Okay, we got a fighting terror shard. And I guess we're trying to just get farther and farther down. I already have you, Dracloak. Not seeing anything more down that way. A lot of Pokemon, but I'd rather not get too scrappy with anything just for right now, if possible. We have a plenty strong team. I wanna save our healing and whatever else we can access for whatever rough stuff we might run into later. There's just definitely a big concern for me right now. It's like, how difficult will things go with the deeper we get into this cave? What resources might, what I, might I end up needing? So trying to save you know, some of our energy for now might be a good idea. Especially since we're a good 10 plus levels above most of the challenges we're running into. But, it's not too much going on down this way. I thought maybe there'd be a little bit of extra secret stuff or something, but not quite. There is a TM waiting for us right down here. So I definitely wanna grab that. This area has been so cool though. What an adventure it's been so far today. We have Shadow Ball, something we've gotten before, I think. And I guess we're supposed to head down here, go across the water and such. There's gotta be something in back this way though, right? You can't have this whole little thing and not have anything. That's not fair. All right, well, it's fine. 
we just go down like this. And this looks like the entrance to something big, right? Yeah, it's like a big crystal building. This whole place is crazy. I was not expecting this at all. I figured the Great Crater would be intense and exciting and dangerous, but not quite in this way. Whoa. It's like a skyscraper encased in crystal. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real? Huh, <laughs> yeah, right. That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. We're getting a call? From who? Professor Turo. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Era Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? I'd assume so. Indeed, though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. Dangerous Pokemon? With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. Whoa. You've got me and Zebra here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Huh. Well then, that puts all my worries to rest. This seems pretty intense then. So we probably wanna save before we head into there. I wanna take one last look around and, you know, like I said, save really quickly. Do we have any extra experience candies? I think I used the most of them, if not all of them before, but um, now might be a good time to check. This is the boxes, so I won't find them in there. Oops, uh, head out of here. And then do bag. And let's see, do I have any extra experience candy? Doesn't look like it. So yeah, I used the most of those, that's good. So I think we're good to go. We'll head out of here and into whatever's going on. A bunch of Pokemon are about to jump out at us or something. Open the gate to the Zero Lab, you bet. You decided to press the button and open, hold it. Huh, why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Maraidon help? I mean, I guess, but we can't make them. Yeah, if Maraidon were here, like how we first saw it in the In Lake Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I wanna see a battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero and it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong, I know it is. It ate all those Urban Mystica we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Hmm, I don't know. Go on, Zebra, let Maridan out. I'll try, but it's all up to them. Hey buddy, you feeling all right? Seems a little surprised. All right, come on Zebra. Now that we've got them, got Maraidon ready, it's time to open that game. Okay, now we're ready for real. Whoa. I don't have a good feeling about this. Ready or not. Whoa, wait a minute. Is that it? No way. Here it comes. Whoa. And this one's in its battle form. The family reunion, it's happening. Whoa, no way. I don't think they get along very well. 
No, something's not right. But the door is open. It's going inside. So that's what, I guess it would be like, you know, of course, if Maraden was in battle form. We saw that a bit earlier. Aw, poor thing. So maybe that's why it's so nervous, because it doesn't get along with its own sibling. Huh, what's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty bra. Wait, for real? Just look at Maridon, poor thing is terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into your, your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If, you know, if you want to. Sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? You think that the other Maridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon that Professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the professor say that the dangerous Pokemon would come out from inside? You mean from inside the gate we just... Oh no, here they come! Uh-oh. They're coming! It's, an old, it's a whole army of them. What the? Oh, we're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. And don't tell me, they're all future Pokemon? We've got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn, I've been waiting. Come on, Zebra, let's do this together. Or right, we'll battle off as many as we can. So this is a new one too, so not this one, but the, the, the other, the big one. But we'll, we'll see it soon enough. This one I can handle no problem. Probably not with this specific Pokemon type, but we have Oinkalone and Lycanroc. We'll just do as much damage as we can for now. Um, like we can do super effective Earth Power, so that should be enough. They're gonna use Drill Run. It's level 64, so we can handle that. Stomping Tantrum. Whoa, that does a lot of damage to Lycanroc. Let's do Earth Power though, and boom, that's gonna almost finish it off. If Lycanroc can do the rest of it, that'd be huge. Guess we'll see in just a moment. For right now, we'll use Earth Power. Here we go, here we go, you got it. Great job, Nimona. So there's one of them down. Iron Treads is fainted. And we get a level up there for uh, Town Flame. Wants to learn to move Fly. Okay, hold on. I will consider using the move Fly, because um, it is 90 power. We'll just put that over. It takes two turns out. You know, we'll put it over Tailwind. We never really use it anyways. There we go. So, forgot Tailwind, learn Fly instead. Let's check out our next thing. Is it gonna be another Pokemon we're fighting, or what? Wow, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Oh, uh, here comes some more. Yeah, why are they coming at me? Zebra, help me out of here. Okay, so I guess we're teaming up with all of our friends here to take on these big mean Pokemon. This time, a whole new one. Oinkalone and Umbreon versus Iron Hands. This time, I'll try using Earth Power again, but I don't think just because it's iron doesn't mean it's Steel type. But it is super effective, so maybe. And it's gonna be Psychic against it, and that's pretty effective too, so things are working out. Wild Charge is coming in. It's gonna go against Umbreon. So we're fine there, personally. He's down for the recoil too. So if we just hit it with one more here, that should be good enough to finish you off. So, so far, these battles aren't too crazy difficult. We get level 73 for Oink alone that time. Ugh, the future must be terrifying. It might just be. Maybe this is our chance to change it. Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and if those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands. We gotta go after him, Penny. Why me? Wade. Ah, uh, hold on, Amona. And why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? <laughs> so they're chasing after all the Pokemon that got out. I hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. 
Let's go for this strong looking one first. So we thought, saw this and caught it before. This is the Iron Jugulus or something. I guess we'll see, but we got my boss up here too. All right, they're gonna intimidate it, lowering its damage. We will just do um, Headbutt for now. I might want to switch Pokemon later, but we just crunch against us. It doesn't do too much damage. And this might make it even flinch. We'll see, but the play rough is coming in too. Um, Jugulus avoided it though, unfortunately. Come on, let's see if we can't make you flinch. We use Hyper Voice against the both of us. Oh, it's almost there. There, it was a critical hit. Come on, just one more, one more. But they avoided it again. They really don't like getting play rough. That's okay, come on. Crunch, no big deal. We finish you off right here. So three future Pokemon defeated right now. Pretty cool. See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync, all thanks to our Titan hunting together. <laughs> Still scared, huh? You already might have to face that other one of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and boss of here can take them. So, Zebra, you take your partner there and go take care of business. But are you gonna be okay? This is how my boss have got hurt before. Oh, come on. If you're not even gonna rely on your friends, then who are you going to rely on? The boss of here is raring to go. Lead this to us. All right, you guys got it. Maraiden, you really ruined my whole childhood, you know? But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of, out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers. If you just use them, and you've got us too. So, so, so don't even think about losing that, losing to that jerk. Be brave, stand up, and fight. All right, well, let's take Arvin's word to heart here and go inside. Before I do that, maybe I should, I know we're all healed up. Okay, we're good to go. Whoa, look at this, we're just in this tube. Wait a minute, there's the professor. Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. Professor Turo? He's not looking so good. The activating sleep mode. I don't think that's a professor. Is he a robot? Hello, Zebra. Thank you for coming. Oh, Maraidon didn't like that. No, it's the other Maraidon. No, back to your ball. And Turo caught them. That one is far less tractable tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Maraid on Flood Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I'm not the true Professor Turo. Then who are you? I'm an artificial intelligence that Professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I'm an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. No way. The incident? The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than the, for the Maridon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Maridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Zebra, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor had created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. So this really isn't the real professor, an AI made after he passed away. That is so sad, though. What are we going to tell Arvin? I guess we'll find out together as we walk along with them. Booster energy. The energy that fills this capsule boosts something. Okay, I wish I had the time to read it. 
Uh, we're going down here. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. All right, down we go. Zebra, it is truly, it is, truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What is an AI really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I'm afraid that this fact may be difficult for his son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is this time machine? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Turo had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, what you might call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future and this power has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping in to the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they will break free from this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their, their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor ever devised. Zebra. You have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you've gained to destroy the Dream Turo once cherished. I think we have to. The Dream originally, that's just such a big thing to do and you don't mess with time like that, it's so dangerous. I appreciate your willingness to help. Whoa, we have reached the lowest level. So there is an AI greater than the one we're speaking to right now. Whoa, what is this room? It's like a kaleidoscope. Oh my gosh. Behold, this is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. Whoa, this is beyond spooky. Look at this place. Like it's it's so cool and just amazing, but scary at the same time. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the vile book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. If you place the vile book upon the pedestal here, you'll be able to stop the time machine. There's just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I'll become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless, 
They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Vile Book upon the pedestal. So this might be the for real deal last battle. Let's go for it, I'm ready. Will you place the Vile Book on the pedestal? I will. ID confirmed, Professor Turo. Access granted. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. I don't know if I can wait any longer. Access denied. Uh oh. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It is up to you now, Zebra. AI Turo switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Please, defeat me. Oh my goodness. At, at last. At last my dream was within reach. And you're not getting in the way. Whoa. This is not gonna be easy, is it? It's scary, I don't like it. AI Turo has initiated the battle. We're not even challenged by them. We're initiated. That's way different. It's just gonna battle from way up there. Iron Moth. So we're battling against never before seen Pokemon. Talk about a disadvantage. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. We'll see about that. Let's just start with like an earth power. I don't know what typing these Pokemon are. So maybe, I don't know, maybe just headbutt would be fine. Are they gonna follow the same typing as the Pokemon they're sort of future versions of? This is the power of the distant future holds. Splendid, isn't it? So they use a poison type move against us right away. We're just gonna use headbutt really quickly. And then maybe switch my Pokemon just in general to something like, uh, I guess for right now we could try Talonflame. If it is going to be a bug, Type, then maybe we could just use fire type move or a flying type use against it and that would do good. We're about to see in a moment. I don't think it's smart to assume everything's a steel type just because it's made out of metal. The sludge wave is coming in that does a good chunk of damage. We're gonna try aerial ace real fast. And that is not super effective, but enough to take it down. The Iron Moth has fainted. Okay, some extra health is gonna come in from us for that. But what do we have next? We really won't know. Iron Thorns is something else we haven't seen. Let's keep our current Pokemon. Here it comes. Whoa! I forget what this Pokemon's called. But it looks pretty intense. So I'm pretty sure Heat Wave's not gonna do too much to us, to it. Yeah, it's not very effective. We might be in major trouble here in a moment. We'll have to wait and see. Stone Edge is coming. Can we avoid it? Nice, that's actually huge. So I think now might be a great time to switch over to Floatzel. And remember that we can Terrasalize if things get scary, but I'm guessing that Professor Turo here can do the same. So we really need to be careful with that one. So here comes the Stone Edge. It still does a good chunk of damage, but if we can just use Surf really quick, maybe that'll be enough to take it down. Battle, Surf. Here it comes. Please let that be a critical. It is, so it's super effective, not critical. You know what I mean. Now this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand future Pokemon's weaknesses? Iron Thorns has fainted. It seems to be the same typing as the Pokemon that they are future versions of though. So like we're fine, we get level 73 for both Floatzel and Yaskarada. Let's see what we get next. I just have to hope, Iron Hands. Oh, so we saw this one before. So this one should be at least fighting type. Um, we don't have anything super effective against it here, so maybe I should switch. We do have Doxmon, let's try Doxmon. Doxmon with its very tight moves should be pretty useful. All right, here we go. The Thunder Punch is coming in, which doesn't do too much damage to us luckily. So let's just try, play rough. And that does a ton. Not enough to take it out, but pretty close to it. Now it's using Iron Head, which that's super effective against us. 
Do you imagine you could be the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Maybe with my zebra brain. Ooh, that's a difference maker. All right, there we go. We got Iron Hands defeated. And we get level 75 for Doxmon. Iron Jugulus. Now we saw this before, but I forgot the typing already. I wish it would just tell me here, but maybe we could just switch over to Masquerada. Just so that we can have an opportunity to see what's going on. I mean, worst case scenario, I could just use the bug type move to switch out too. So here comes Iron Jugulus. Oh man. So none of these are very effective. Ice Punch would be good. What other things might we have? Play Rough again, or some Electro-type moves. So we will battle, and we'll just do U-turn for now and switch over to Palmon. I think that will be our best bet. Because it's Flying-type, I suppose. So let's switch over as soon as we can to Palmon. One of our last full health Pokemon here. At this point, things might get a lot more difficult. We'll have to wait and see. It's gonna use Air Slash against us, which doesn't do very much, but it still like hurts which is pretty crazy. Let's just use Discharge to see if we can't finish it off that way. Come on, gotcha. Super effective with that. Love to see it. Okay, extra experience. Iron Bundle, of course we know is Ice Water type, so I think Electric should be fine. I guess we're about to find out. Okay, so we have Discharge and Close Combat. Maybe I should've used that instead. It's using Snowscape, which I guess changes the environment. Yeah, it started the snow. Let's try Discharge. Ooh, it's enough for a one-hit takedown. Now we're definitely in the lead with things. That's great. So what will be their final Pokemon as we get a couple more levels? Iron Veiling it. We don't know what this is, so we might as well keep with what we have. Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Losing five out of your six Pokemon was it within your expectations? Whoa! All right, this one looks pretty intense. So what typing is this one then? Booster energy was used up. Quark drive. Its attack was heightened. This is scary. Let's try close combat for now. And it doesn't do a ton, it's not very effective. It's gonna do something here. Spirit break, oh no. Ah, oh, that's super effective. So this is where things get a little bit scary, but maybe Meowskarata can come out and just do some critical moves or something? All right, is right over here. This is our chance. If we can just hit it with a flower trick, critical hit, it might be enough. It is! There we go, we defeated Iron Valiant. What? Some sort of error has occurred here. Recalculating for critical damage. Valiant has fainted. That's all they had, right? I think so. We've defeated AI Turo. I I impossible. It's shutting down. We've properly done it. So down you go. And with this, we can shut down the time machine. Oh no, it's not looking so good. Zebra, oh it's Arvin, and the rest of our friends. What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it you. Who are you really? Thank you for everything. The time machine has finally he has finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry, you were alone so long, Arvid. Dad? Security system failure, security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, what's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. 
Oh no, this is not good. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except the registered to Turo's ID. Wait, what? Programming initial program initializing gathering. I'm sorry, children. What is this? This is too much for you. You must run. The AI is being terrestrialized. AI turn disabled. Paradise protection protocol initialized. We can't use our Pokeballs right now. Again? What do we do this time? You are not getting in my way. You are challenged by AI Turo. Again? By the Paradise Protection Protocol. I can't believe Professor went this far to set all this up. So we're going against Maridan. But we can't battle right now. That only leaves us one choice, right? It's to get out of here, right in the Guardian of the Paradise. You can't battle without a Pokemon on the field. It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Can I, can I choose Maridan? Swap in, here we go. Finally, we have the chance. No way. All right. Let's give it everything we got, buddy. It might be big and scary, but you got this. Let's get him. Here we go. We're finally seeing Maridan in full battle form. Whoa. Raiden is ready to rumble. Show him what you got, buddy. Whoa. So it's Maridan versus Maridan, sort of. Maridan, the guardian of paradise. The opposing Maridan turned the ground into electric. He used electric train to energize itself. So, yeah, I guess we have a couple of different moves here. Power Gem. The user attacks with a ray of light that sparkles as if it were made of gemstones. Electro Drift. The user faces or races forward at ultra fast speeds, piercing its target with futuristic electricity. This move's power is boosted more than usual if it's a super effective hit. Endure, the user endures any attack with at least one HP. This move's chance of failing rises if it's used in succession and Terra Blast. If the user ha has Terrasalize, it unleashes energy of its Terra type. This move inflicts damage using the special attack stat. So let's just try Electro Drift for now and see how much damage it does, but it's taunting us. Oh man, as if we're not worked up already. We fell for the taunt. We're using Electro Drift. Whoa, what a cool move. Doesn't do too much, it's not very effective. So what do we do instead? It changed into its battle form. Let's go, Maridan, you got this. I guess we could try Power Gem. You will fall here within this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. It's using Power Gem against us. And that does do a lot of damage, I'm a little concerned. Uh-oh. Um, maybe I should have started with that first, but it seems a lot more powerful than we are. I'll try for another Power Gem. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. I didn't think that the bad guy to this whole game was gonna be the professor. <laughs> this is crazy. So it's trying to raise the stats right now. We're just trying to hit it with another Power Gem. And it does a little bit of damage, but we're finally shaking out that taunt. This looks like it could be bad. Uh, hang on, hang in there, Zebra. I'm trying, I'm trying. I could try Terra Blast. I don't know if this would be as good as, you know, if I just used it when I was terrestrialized. The data say I'm the superior. Fall and become a foundation upon which my dream is built. Here comes Hyper Beam. Oh no, 
We're not doing so well. Tuffin and Asu wouldn't feel sad. Thanks, buddy. But I don't think we have enough going on here for this. It's not even halfway down. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. What do I do now? Like, I could try to do endure, but I'm already at one HP. Murata embraced itself. The opposing Murata must charge. Oh man, can we really pull it off? Pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey Zebra, your Terra Orb's glowing. Zebra Murata, terrestrialize and finish it off. I guess this is our big chance. Let's go for it, our attack is raising. So is our defense, all of our stats are gonna be boosted. This is absolutely our chance to take it on then. So we battle, terrestrialize and do Terra Blast. Come on, so I guess we're gonna terrestrialize into a dragon type. This'll be huge. Here we go. Looking good, Maraiden. So let's hit it with everything we got. A huge terror blast coming in. Oh, there it is, it's super effective. And that's gonna make them faint, we did it. That's as close as it gets to her at one HP. Oh no, I think we did it for real this time. There's no way it survives that. Defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. You didn't. It, it's not going berserk anymore? How? How very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness, showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how challenging of a future may await you, I believe you'll be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now with pride. I thank you, Zebra. I thank all of you children. But I'm afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am a part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? What does that mean? I I'm sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of Jealousy. I envied you, your freedom. The way that you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourself, throwing all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek, nor to fight for a treasure all your own. Ah and the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I, too, might be as free as you all, free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else. Not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reach you. I am not going only so that time the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that future world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I'm sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. You, you can't, you can't just go and say a thing like that now. No, I suppose you're right, I'm sorry. Arvin, Rhydon, Zebra, it is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Dad!
Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. I can't believe they're leaving. And there's no way they can come back. I know what needs to be done, but it, it hurts to see. Whoa. Quite the spectacle, though. And the whole thing shuts down. How could you just go? Dad. Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it, when it said my name using his voice and wearing his face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just, I... Sorry, I didn't know what I was, I'm saying. That's, that's okay. Aw. I guess Maradon is sad too. Oh, but, but that battle form, how cool is that? It's so strong. Yeah, it looks great. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. <laughs> hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Zebra and Maridon just saved all of Paldea. Th that's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Zebra. Yeah, that's my bud Zebra for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet he's finally having a real fun adventure of his own in the future. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Zebra? Let's go home, I guess. What more is there to do? You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. So just a relaxing walk home, I guess. Doesn't feel so good. Doesn't feel like we just completed a huge adventure. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take a, the long run home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great. If we could load up on snacks first, I'm in. All right, let's go. Hey, Zebra, not you too. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. Oh, all right, fine. I guess we're doing this. Let's get going. So it's not all been lost. Although some things were lost along the way, we made some great friends too. And you know what? Sometimes it's all you can ask for. And there we go, we've done it. We have completed Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. What an adventure. I was not expecting anything close to an ending like that. Obviously, we've had some pretty crazy twists and turns in previous Pokemon games, but none quite like this. This, to me, was maybe one of the most exciting stories in a Pokemon game that I have personally played. So, I had so much fun with that. I had so much fun exploring the Paldean region, and there's still so much more to experience, I'm sure. We can still catch more Pokemon and figure out whatever post-game content is available on this one. But even though this game had some of its sort of bumps and roads and issues, especially I think it's had a lot of glitches and stuff, it was still an amazing game. And I really had fun playing this one from beginning to end. So thank you to everybody who's been joining me throughout the series, everyone in the Zebrahood watching along as I play. It's always so much fun to experience these games with you. And I'm just so glad that, you know, it feels like Pokemon games are getting more and more exciting with each one. I can't wait to see what they do next after this, but for right now, there is still, like I said, so much more to experience in this game. There's more Pokemon to catch, more places to discover, I'm sure. Most Pokemon games have some kind of crazy post-game content, so I'm really excited to see what that's all about. But when it comes to what we experienced in today's episode, going into the Great Crater, finding brand new Pokemon from the future, and see Maradon's battle form, hopefully we can use them to battle now, just in general. We'll have to see how all that works for sure, but it's all in due time. 
This was a crazy episode with many ups and downs, and I can't help but feel for Arvin, but I'm glad that he has us now, and you know, at least we can provide that. But yeah, this is great. Of course, we've been, you know, keeping up with Pokemon as much as we can. There's some of the older Pokemon games like Pokemon Legends Arceus. I still need to complete some things in those games. So I'll be trying to work on that soon, but mostly focus on this one for now. And there's other things like Pokemon Unite that are constantly being updated that we're playing along with too. So if you want more Pokemon content, it's definitely coming and whatever they release in the next year for Pokemon, I'm all for it. I'll be playing that too. But for right now, you know, there's still more Paladean region adventures to be had. But for right now, it looks like the credits are still rolling, so we're gonna let these finish up and we'll see what happens next. Thank you, treasured friends. That's cute. Gives us a little thank you, I suppose. Oh, and look at this little picture we get with everybody. Oh, that's fantastic. I really do love the characters in this game. Usually the cast can sometimes be a little bit just, you know, they're just sort of there. But this one, it just felt like we grew connections to these characters. So what's happening now? We're in our dorm again. Oh, we got a, a visitor. Calling students to the director's office. Master Zebra, Miss Nimona, Master Arvin, and Miss Penny. Director Clavel would like to see you in his office. Ooh, so it looked like there is still more waiting for us with Mr. D D director Clavel, whatever, whatever his name is. <laughs> it's definitely not Clive, that's for sure. It's weird that it's telling me to go back to the zero gate. Oh, no, 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 that's just my destination that I have set. So what's going on with the director over here? Head to the director Clavel's office. I think that is something we'll find out in the next episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.